cliffcentral.com People must realize in this country that the struggle is no longer black and white. It's the haves and the have-nots. Because when I look at the bitter whites and the bitter blacks, it's the ones who are not eating money. If you look at the ones who are fine, it's because they're still eating money. So me, I think people must just be clever. There are white people out there who I'm going to be honest with you right now. Apartheid and let you the fuck down. So you are bitter, you have nothing now, you know why? You are in a system that didn't empower you. They just gave you things on a silver platter. Now you have to work for shit and you don't know how to do it. Because why? You were just suckling happily on the breast of apartheid. Now it has weaned you and you are fucked because you were not ready. And as for black people, those of you who are still not eating money, it is because unfortunately the gravy train that train missed you or you are just, you will never achieve such and you must know tenders have passed you and you must know that there are those of us who are eating because we can speak English a certain way. And it, it, it is such polar opposite. They are the ones who talk like this. They are eating it because their accent is that of struggle. And then there are those who speak like this and we think, oh, that's a clever black who can definitely keep the country going. So as soon as this country realizes that the real divide in this country is the haves and the haves not, have not, then this country will move forward. Look at those students now. Let's go and do some research on where these kids were fighting. You'll find those, those white kids in the free state who are fighting were not wearing shoes. <laughs> what? Mm. Does that mm. have to do mm. with I've said it. I'm tired of this country and our stupid polarizations. Cliffcentral.com